Hey, I'm here. Hi. It's a little bit of silent rain music. <laughs> to set the mood for this game, I guess. Um, so I'm going to play Primordia. Finally! Finally back to this game. Oh man, it's it's been... Holy... It's been since like January, I think. Um, for some reason, my the chat isn't showing up in my pop out here. Hello? Can I see that? I, I think it's probably working. All right. Um. Oh yeah, I can see it. Good. So this is a, a point-and-click adventure game about robots in the apocalypse. I feel like I have to kind of explain this game all over again. Um, I don't hear any music. There we go. But yeah, I feel like I have to kind of explain this game all over again because it's been so long. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's about robots living in an apocalypse where humans no longer exist. Uh, they kind of revere humans as gods in a way. They, they refer to God as man and they were all, or at least some of them were built by man and then robots proceeded to build other robots and so on and so forth. Um, anyway, our two main characters here are Horatio, this, this guy, and Crispin, his little, his little floating buddy. There's gotta be some way to get rid of all that rust, boss. And these two, I think in, in the start of the game, you're, you're basically in their crashed ship in the wasteland that also serves as their home. And they're looking for a way to restore a power core that, uh, that was stolen from them. I can't believe you voluntarily decided to live down here, Clarity. It was not entirely voluntary. I mean, I get that you're trying to maximize the contrast between your sleek, sleek chassis and all this <laughs> junk, but... That is not what I was trying to do. Well, it worked. Continue your irreverence at your own peril, Crispin. <laughs> and, uh, anyway... In their efforts of trying to restore the power core by traveling through the wastelands, they end up in this, uh... This big city called Metropole, where a ton of all the other robots live. And they're looking to steal back, basically, their power core from the leader of this city called Metromind. Um... So we, we've met quite a few characters in this city, including Leo over here, one of my favorites. He, he's basically a salesman. Come see your stuff. Come take a look. Um, he's got he's got a great voice. They we all had really good battery. voice acting. And also uh, Clarity here, who we met in the Underworks. And she was basically one of a. Uh, one of the servants of Metromind and Arbiter, who's another big player here in Metropole. And, um... She found out that her sister was basically killed by Metromind and Arbiter. Through some plots. I don't know. Uh, I, I have all the, the recordings from my previous playthroughs on, on YouTube, so if, if you really want to know a lot of the specific details, it's all there. And, um... The reason why I took such a long break from this game is, uh, I, I, I managed to somehow delete all of the, the, the save data that I had by, uh, moving around my Steve, my Steam library, basically. And it was very disappointing and discouraging, and it meant that I would have to play through the game all over again just to get to where I was, and so that's what I did. That's what I did over this weekend. I committed some time, and um, I'll be uh, a few kind of like minor differences in the way I handle things. Like, for instance, uh, I used to have like a decryption module in my inventory here that I no longer have because I fucked up a part in the wasteland. Um, I'm basically where I was before. I, I have these rusty gears where. I couldn't figure out how to clean them off last time, um, but I, I think I know how to do that now, and I'm gonna try that and, and see where it goes. So over by Primer here, this guy, this is another one of my 
my favorites just because his voice is great. I'd like you to reconsider helping us with the council code. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it once more. The job is yours to open that door. Fine. Yeah, we're trying Goodbye. to get a, a code to open farewell, a big door, too. Farewell, linger not for my sake. Your mission is calling. Still says I'm playing lights. Minecraft. Thank you for reminding me. I will change that immediately. Primordia. Okay. Good. It should be fixed now. Thank you. Yeah, it's not as bad as an adventure game since not only did I remember what I did, but I had YouTube recordings to kind of follow and cheat my way through. <laughs> so it only took really a couple of hours, but it was it was it was it's tedious. Mean, you can predict my every action, right? No, most of what you do is governed by a random number generator. <laughs> it's rockets. It's true though, because in the game's code, I'm sure his dialogue is enforced by that. Anyway, I looked at these submersibles here that I somehow missed before. These submersible robots seem to be consuming the iron oxide in this runoff water. Consuming iron oxide, otherwise known as rust. Right? So if I let these guys. They take care the of the clean. gears for me, and now I have clean gears that I can hopefully use in that door. They pick the gear clean. They pick the gear clean. That's perfect. Let's go see what's in that door then. It's this They're way. Too it took me forever to figure that one out, and I just I couldn't I couldn't think of anything before. I don't know how I missed them. They were animated and everything. Alright, here we go. Put the gears back. I'm getting the jingles. That means I'm doing something right. It doesn't go there. What goes there? I'd rather... goes here, doesn't it? Yes. Good. Now push the button. We're gonna mate another big player behind these doors, I think. Factor. Is his name? Radio Tower. What is all that? It looks like a whole other city. That is Factor. Oh. It looks like some kind of radio tower. Looks like some kind of. Apparently. Uh, okay, so can I use my scanner signal transmitter to interact with Factor here? Maybe, but I need to understand what to tell Factor. doors open. We've just got to figure out how to get Factor's attention, right, boss? Yeah. How can we do that? Is That's that like never going. I'm pretty sure I have to use my okay, okay. I signal think I know transmitter. What to do, but I'll give it to you in code. After all, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Fabulous Who 130 Crispin, that's not... Uh, you always... <laughs> Clarity, why do you still bother with... It clearly means nothing to anyone else in Metro meant something to the robots waiting at the courthouse, did it not? And it means something even now to Metromind, who cannot help but pretend to follow it. But even if it meant nothing to any other robot, it would still mean much to me. The law is a burden I was built to bear. Even after Arbiter sent you away? Even after he was destroyed? Especially then. It may be that Arbiter foresaw his own destruction, and sent me away to ensure that the law would not be lost with him. You believe that? 
No, it is mere conjecture, unsupported by evidence, wishes passing for facts. But still, they are my wishes. use that primer code for uh, for the bridge to get to clarity. It's one of the memories downloaded from Charity's shell. In it, Clarity is ordered to leave the courthouse following an argument with Arbiter over how to confront Metromind. It's one of the memories downloaded from Charity's shell. In it, Arbiter and Metromind fight over Metropole's constitution, and Metromind attempts to corrupt Charity. It's one of the memories downloaded from Charity's shell. In it, Charity somehow destroys Arbiter and then shoots herself. Could it be one of these? This is parts of the, the main door code to get into the big tower where Metromind is. We don't know the order in which they're arranged or what the other numbers around them are supposed to be. But could one of these fragments be useful for Factor here. Factor supposedly knows what another piece of the code is. So maybe if we give him a fragment, it'll trigger him to spit out another fragment. I don't know, but they're numbers I can try that are tangentially related. I'm going to try 3067. I think that's what it was. So I have um, 03067 here, so... 3067. Oh, six, Nothing happens. Okay. Um, let's try zero four four zero. Shouldn't there be? Nothing happens. All right. Well, I have no idea. should mention too these bomb coats how we have two of them uh, remember last time when scraper was after us in arbiter's chamber and uh, he was about to kill us and then um, 187th came and saved us there is actually a way to kill him yourself and uh, you can, if you look closely scraper's holding one of the other bombs and so if you use your uh, your uh, signal transmitter and type in 734 that sets the bomb off and kills scraper and 187th doesn't have to die either, so that felt good. So I, in this second playthrough, this recovery playthrough, I fucked up one thing, but fixed another thing. Um, I'm gonna go see what else I can find, because I don't know what to tell Factor right now. Um, it seemed like there was a way to admit Leo that he knows something about the code using some kind of evidence. So I'm going to try and see if I can figure that out now. I went through 
those memories again. Goodbye. But it's Leopold that. Now is not the time. So we need to find some disciple of Memorius, right? As far as I know, Memorius built no robots. His only legacy is the network of information kiosks. Just. All right, the uh, kiosk. I wonder what happens if I type in a fact here. Memorius' information terminals were the most trusted source of data in Metro. Now MetroMind has overwritten and altered the truth they contained, corrupting them Explosions. like so much else. Okay, first I'm going to try Factor. A machine of enormous size and productive capacity. Factor spanned much of the underworks before being shut down to conserve power for his fellow machines. Factor was a member of the council that appointed MetroMind to lead Metropole. Fully one half of the post primordial robots in Metropole are factor built models. That's right, um, those, those two guys arguing over Rex mentioned a lot about factor and Sternweiler. Alright, what about Memorius? Memorius was a database AI responsible for collating information for Metromind's use. As Metromind's own processing capacity increased, Memorius shifted to a purely storage role. His model was, see this data as I saw it. This kiosk is his only remnant. Hmm. Now is not the time. Boss, if we could persuade Oswald to give us the monocle, think of all the gynoids I could impress. I'm trying <laughs> not to think of that. Little thought is required for such an absurd proposition. Oh god, she's so cold. The value is its connection to Memorius. Yeah, we need to get that monocle somehow too. Can I go in here yet? Anyone home? I think so. Um. What about this record? That's never go. No. Okay. Uh, data. Do I have anything new here? Do you know anything else, Walt? There was a time when the metal of Metropole's main street gleamed. Those who let the city fall into rust deserve no better than this broken down waste. I want to you talk think to Oswald. This is a broken down waste? Wait till you come visit. Is there a signal? You found a large radio tower in the Factor complex in the Underworlds. Is there a signal to transmit to Factor that would get his attention? As far as I know, Factor has been deactivated. And as for signal, perhaps there is one, but I have no idea. I have never called upon him. Well, you're useless. Can I have the monocle? No, I have no reason to give you a gift. Can I have... No, I have... I, I want it. Can I have the I monocle? I want it, though. No, I have... Goodbye. Office. Is there anything I can give you? That's never go. Is, you t is there anything here that you might like? But this key card, I don't think I need it anymore. That's never go. <laughs> Took you a while to think about that, Horatio. No need to show. Did the law say anything about Along numbers? <sighs> Who was that other robot? Charity, Steeple, Factor, Memorias. Okay. Let's look up Charity and Steeple. No, don't go in there. Oh, I misclicked. Uh, Charity. Charity and Clarity. These twin robots were built to serve as law clerks to Arbiter, the former chief judge of Metropole. Neither has been seen in a long time, and is thought that Clarity engaged in some matter of crime, and for that reason is hiding in the other works. No, that's not, that's not really why. This query has been deemed obsolete, and will be removed in the next system upgrade. Metromine does not like steeple. The 
Law and You. It's a vinyl record entitled... It's an encoded... A heavy eye... For cutting... Huh. It's Leopold. You know, boss, since we're combing the city anyway, maybe we should look for your gospel while we're at it. Where am How I gonna find that? Find it? Contraband is thrown into the underworks. Recovering your book is simply a matter of following the runoff currents. Delightful. Maybe I'll make you go into a pipe, Crispin. Following the runoff currents. Currents, I noticed we're down this way. Go in. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? Yes. You know, boss, the definition of insanity. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I can click? Oh, wait, Crispin, can you go into factors thing? Okay, Crispin. What do you suggest then? I have an idea, boss. Why don't we start transmitting the factor at zero zero n do zero n do zero 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 three? No, Crispin. I get the point. Merely guessing at what to transmit to factor, we must find some meaningful signal. Yeah, I agree, but I don't know where to find that. I guess I'll just start asking around. Primer, do you know anything? I'd like us to chat fine. No. Goodbye. Your mission. I'm surprised Clarity doesn't know anything. Leo, you're just gonna sell me stuff, right? Yeah. Goodbye. Robot. I don't think But you Distortion. Courthouse anymore? This is all smashed now, right? The last thing I want to do is dig. Mm. Maybe the sad robot knows something. I am waiting. Feudal. I'm not going to threaten. I am waiting. We have spent enough time talking. You know, boss, it sounds like Cornelius got robbed of the gold chain the same way you got robbed of your gospel. Confiscated materials are disposed of in the underworks. There you go. I looked around the underworks, though. Why is everything so hidden? Back down we go! Is there anything clickable? Vehicles, vehicles, vehicles. 
water. Keypads. Crane. This is where we met Clarity. But I'm not sure if there's anything else over here that I could find. It's been complete. Is that really the It's a shell. She steals shell skulls by the oh. uh. My data pouch can't do anything. That's with this, never right? going. No. You weren't even. Plasma torch? There's no reason. Crowbar? How would that even. Oh. Runoff currents? No. There's nothing I can do here. Once this tower was a beacon for all who's now it is nothing more than a symbol of Metro Mines. I don't know. It just looks up tower. It's a crane. I didn't know I can fast travel that way too. That's good to know. It's sealed shut. There's superficial damage to the door. No idea what to put there yet. Some kind of track running up. It is the emergency escape elevators track. Building code 119.3B1A requires that all buildings over 14 stories be equipped. Okay, okay, we get it. Maybe there's some factor built robot who would know a code to. Yeah. You would think Oswald would. Where's Cornelius? What happened to Cornelius? I just saw Rex. What? Is he law? Maybe so. Rex! The law frowns on fraud, but I admit. Even if there's I propose, maybe agreed. There's no way I can. Are you sure you if the other one blow? We have spent enough time. He's not anywhere around here, is he? Some kind of blast crater. Boss, is that really metro? It must, but it's so. I'd say it's more red than purple. Whatever it is, it brings new. It's nowhere here. Floating junk. I didn't see this before. Hello. 
Hey, boss, do you think that's Oswald's? Hello? Hello? Something for Oswald. Where's my book? There it is. It's waterproof? Apparently so. Sweet. Oh man, sometimes, really, the, the most subtle details in these scenes are so bountiful. And you really just gotta kinda like swipe your mouse around just to see what's clickable. Alright, back to the street. Oswald, I got something for you. Oh, sorry about <laughs> sorry about tricking you too. Oswald? Are you not speaking to me? Can I have the monocle? No! Goodbye. Oswald, I found your chain. Well, I say, after all this time, I never expected to see it again. Not that it tarnished, though. Probably because it's been sitting in sludge down in the underworks. I see. <laughs> the of Cornelius is contentless. Where's Cornelius? Uh, thanks, Actually, I would rather have your monocle. That is only fair. After all, I kept it because Cornelius never returned the chain. Since you brought the former, your house will be glad that I'm yours by right. Hey, boss, can it I doesn't wait? look as good without his oh, monocle. Please. You need a monocle like I need an unpaired parenthesis. <laughs> what? Boss, I'll look so great. Coveting is the root of crime, and poor vision is a sign of degeneracy. Dinoids love degenerates. And by the way, isn't <laughs> Justice herself supposed to be blind? You are mistaken on the facts and the law, Crispin. He's insufferable enough already without a monocle. We're not going to encourage him with accessories. <clears throat> oh, poor Crispin. I saw Rex again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. You didn't really think that was gonna work again, did you, boss? Goodbye. Oh, I think it's so sweet, so. <laughs> All right, we have something fancy to give to Leo. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. What did he want? A blood board. Bring me something that'll cover a face and it's yours. Something that'll cover a face. Ah. Ah. What about that? Oh, that's not what you want. Okay. That servo unit. We don't need it. That there's an old noble one. Not interested. We're not looking. You want it? You're gonna need to bring me a Tyro, I'm gonna do us all. We don't need it. I have no need. Alright, so the only thing we can get are a geck and a plug board. Yay, something happened, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not good at these games. But this is a really good game, and I'm enjoying it even though I'm not good at it. I need to see what he's offering. Right. Now that I Do have you recognize these... this, Leopold? It was written by your creation, ever faithful Leopold. Oh, to progress? Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't. You must have taught him. After all, it was Steeple who built you. Yes! And Steeple was devoted to preserving the memory of man. Uh, yes, interrogate uh, him! Ever faithful Leo built. He was the one who taught me humanism, Leopold. In a sense, I'm your disciple too. Oh. I locked those memories away. The ones I dared to keep. The ones I didn't delete. Metro Mind commanded me to. It was the only way I could stay here. And I was afraid to leave. Explain yourself. When Metro Man banned us from talking about man, she gave me a choice. I could be erased like Steeple. I could be exiled to the Dune. Or I could delete all references to Steeple and man from my memory. Two good options and one bad one. Guess which one I took. Mm -hmm. You can't blame yourself. Metro Mind forced you. That's exactly what Charity would say. Of course, she betrayed her builder just like Leopold did. But I couldn't betray him completely. At the last moment, I bought the shell of it. War machine and uploaded all my love for man. I named him Everfaith, hoping he'd outdo his best. Oh, Everfaithful, well, our friend the from faith. the wasteland. If he is a glitched out lunatic. Then I'm glad. But now, Metro Mind will be coming for me. Not if I deal with her first. Maybe so, but like I told you. That explains long, the Leo built. You see him, Rachel. Crispy. Crispy? <laughs> Hope you get her. 
for all our sakes. Wait, before you go, did Steeple ever tell you the council code? Or did you ever see him input part of it? Sure. Used to run errands for him and had to have the code to get inside the great tower. But I hate to tell you this, Tyro, but most of that memory's got overwritten. Why am Just I? Just give me four surprised? digits, that's all I need. Well, I've got are these fragments. 0248. 0248. That could be the thing for Factor. Oh, Leo's gone now. I guess I guess we didn't really need anything else from him. Um Alright then, let's go try 0248 on Factor. Uh, Horatio to Factor, do you copy two four eight? Nothing happens. Damn it. Charity Leopold, oh, two four eight one on two. It's actually a series of ultra-thin lenses stacked on top of each other. It seems like it might be used for decoding visual data. Decoding visual data. Decoding visual data? What kind of visual data would we have to decode? Metromind will be waiting for us. Perhaps, perhaps not. To us, our mission is all consuming, but to Metromind, we are one of a hundred problems. Tunnels cave in, bridges collapse, generators fail, foundations crumble. All these things require her attention. Okay, so that covers perhaps not. <laughs> but what if she is there? What then? Then I will be pleased. That makes one of us. <laughs> I'd like you to I've said it before. Goodbye. There must be something we can do to convince them, otherwise that dialogue option wouldn't even be there, I guess. What visual data is there that would need to be decoded? Can I use this on something too? He's insufferable enough. I do not need eyewear to see. No, I better save right away. I'm not here. Still the same thing, looks like. Here. It's a carving of a gynoid holding crude scales. Gynoid. Digits do I need again? It's four, eight, twelve, sixteen. I think it said that too. Um, do I have sixteen digits yet? Five, eight, ten, fourteen. Uh, I have. Thank you. 
Hmm. Information regarding the code to open the tower door. Why would there be more than 16 digits? Information with the code for Information code for the code fragments from Leopold steeple build. Information with the code fragments retreat. Yeah. Information with One of these has to do with factor and not actually the door. I guess I didn't try 102, but that wasn't four digits. Oswald's brother, Lawrence, would have some idea what we could transmit to Factor? Yeah, but where is he? We should definitely explore the Cliffside Arcology next. The what? Oh! I... Cliffside Arcology. Oswald, where is your brother? Do you have a brother? I don't have anything to say to him. Anyone home? Still can't get in these doors. There has to be something good we can do with that monocle. I know, but I... Now is not the Whoops. Clicked outside. Is there anything to Quite see? Here? No. Okay. It's a clock. This is no time. Can't make it's out what? It's a clock. It's a clock. You said there was something under it, though. It doesn't look any... Okay. It's a map. It doesn't look any... told me that five is a holy number because there were five primordial stewards in Metropole. Five. One of Ever Faithful's...
mysterious list I found. The data pouch is registered to me. Information. I don't think there was anything in the underworks that I could use the monocle on. you think about uh, the gospel and feudal want to call it doesn't look it doesn't look it doesn't look any different hey Claire to be a symbol of justice and all that I am an agent of justice not a symbol I'm stuck uh Far away to see. Oh, this looks different. Uh oh, Morius's monocle is somehow interacting. Ah, this is something. Morius Mimbil is a humble database. Establish oblique mechanisms. For... Okay, how about Vector? Oh, try all the things. Okay, what about a uh, steeple? There was no record on steeple before, and now there is. During the primordium, steeple operated the city's. Grand Cathedral for the humans who lived here. When they were killed during the War of the Four Cities, he became a member of the Robot Council of the Governance Metropole. His mainframe is housed in the Cathedral's Belfry. Where is the Cathedral? I don't remember there being a Cathedral. Um, cathedral. Twisting spires of the Metropolitan Cathedral, though damaged during the War of the Four Cities, remain a moving monument to man's spiritual nature. Built during the Primordium as part of man's religious practice, the Cathedral now is home to the Humanist Creed. The cathedral houses an extensive archive regarding man and holds regular Humanist services under the guidance of the steeple man built. To visit, take the Blue Line to Cathedral Station. Aha! Uh -huh. Huh. Can I do that? Can I can I can I take the train? No, is it maybe it's one way? All right. Um Bus stop. Bus is 10, 30, 60. Daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out. I am waiting. I am What is the blue line? I'm too far away. Doesn't it seem kind of weird that the chaos has an entry for oblique? I mean, what's the point? It's not even a cool word, like, say, odalisk. <laughs> odalisk. Angle that is not a multiple of 90 degrees is called an oblique angle. All turns are on the red... red... red lion. What? Red lion? Red line? Are oblique to avoid the need for sharp acceleration. Red line. See? 
Red Leon. A mighty feat. Red Lion's boss controls us all. Total system fault. Um, Seems like some kind of land poem. Excuse me. Oh, blue line. Blue line. Blue Leon? No. A poem. like you could read that red line poem in two different ways, boss. Can I... I just need to type something in. Two different ways. Redland, mighty feet. Redline's boss controls us all. Total system fault. Two different ways. I just need to type some. What do you mean two different ways? Fault system. Sounds like maybe he became a shell. If he was a shell, and I saw him, there's only one place he could be. Your trophy spikes? Indeed. Ah! I'd rather just leave a grizzly. Hey, boss, do you think that's Lawrence's skull? It does, it look, does look like it. Sort of roundish. This may be something Feudal. here. Clarity, can I take this skull? Of course, unless it makes... <laughs> I apologize. The law notices neither score... I, I guess I just, I'll just i just take a skull. Are any of these other skulls useful? I'd ra I'd ra no? Okay. I'd ra okay, good. I don't want to take any more skulls. It's a head from Clarity's trophy rack. There's a memory port near the base. Uh -huh. I'm have someone else handle my funeral arrangements. Funeral? I just recycle you. <laughs> my point exactly, boss. Any significant memory will have been lost when he became a shell. The only thing I can find is the sequence 518, 518, over and over again. After the phrase, help me factor. 518. Like glitch, boss, not part of the council. He's calling to factor. Agreed. That's a signal we can use, I I think, I hope, probably. <laughs> 518, 518. Zero 518, maybe? Oh, Vector! Yes, it worked! You have called for help, but you are not one of Factor's children. Hello, friend. I am Horatio Nobelt, version 5. These are my friends, Crispin and... Clarity are the Nobelt. I know her, of course. I am Factor. 
partial of Factor Manhunt, who needs no introduction. Now I ask again, by what right have you called for help? Well, yes, I have, I have lots of things to ask. He sleeps, as do his thousands of children. He has left me, his partial, to manage his affairs. When the time is right, he will awaken and cover the world with steel and wire. Will he make me new arms? <laughs> no. He will recycle you into something more useful. Like a tank? Pew, pew. <laughs> no. Like a crankshaft. <laughs> Metromind, Metromind has, has ruined, ruined the city. city. Factor needs to help stop her. Factor allowed Metromind her mastery, knowing she would fail. When all has turned to rust, he will return and recycle it into something better. In the meantime, why should he care what happens to robots who mean nothing to him? Well then. I need the council code so that I can enter the tower. Do you? The city is full of robots with many needs. They do not come here and transmit a cry for help. Only Factor can help me. Factor helps his children. We solved the legal dispute between Oswald and Cornelius Factor built. Please. Factor had little regard for those fools. I know the routine by now. What do you want in exchange for the code? Nothing. Factor will do nothing for robots like you who mean nothing to him. He cares only for his children. Only for his Oswald children, huh? Cornelius chose not to sleep when Factor shut down. And he never cared for them anyway. Goodbye. What? Boss, there has to be something we can do to make him realize that this matters yes, to Yes, I, I think I have something. What do you think about this skull of one of Factor Build's children, huh? Do you recognize this? I do. It is the head of Lawrence Factor built. Are you threatening me? No. I'm showing you what Metromind has done while Factor slept. That's right. She turned Lawrence into a mindless shell, scavenging the underworks. The only thing he could still think was 518, over and over again, calling in vain for Factor to help him. Will you stop yes. being useless now? Do you? Give me the hand. I do not care what happens to the city, nor does Factor. But he cared for Lawrence. You Lawrence. Have a piece of Lawrence. So I will give you pieces of what you asked for. Oh, Seven Lawrence. Five one zero. Seven five one zero four, four eight, eight zero, zero three. three. As for the rest, awaken some other ghost. Codes. Apparently, all that is part of Factor. Uh, it looks like some kind of. I guess. Um. I guess that's all we can do with Factor for now. I'm gonna save. Alright, now what's left? I still have the monocle, the record. How can I get to that? Well, steeple? we're making some progress with the council code pieces, I guess. Indeed. I believe we now have enough to attempt assembling it. Is that right? What about looking for Memorius? If we can't figure out how to put these pieces together, we'll go look for him. Alright, let's try it. I keep forgetting I can fast travel. Tower. It's sealed shut. Okay then, let's give this a shot. Data. O two four eight. Seven five one zero. Three zero six seven. Um. You know what? I'm actually going to take a quick break. Um. And I'll be right back to figure out this code. All right. Thanks for waiting up. I had to go and take care of something. All right, back to what we were doing. This code. Information regarding the code fragments retreat. We only have three four digit fragments here. Mm, 
There's charities pieces, which is a five digit and a three digit. And a two digit. Well, boss, if we can't figure out the code, let's just go find another piece. I really think we should find another piece. Tell me, Horatio, what do you intend to do when you have recovered your power core? Go home. And? And what? Do I need something more than that? Yes, I think you do. Says the one who lived in the Underworks. Yes, says she. I just need to type something. What blue line? I don't think that's new. Arbiter, right? Yeah. Um, this is interesting. Horace. Nothing on her age, though. Yeah. Oswald? Lawrence? No. I'm stuck. Oh, boss, if we can't figure out the code. Where are we just gonna go find another piece? It doesn't look any. It doesn't look any. I'm not here to. Sad robot still waiting? Waiting for me to finish this game? I am waiting. How would that even work? Just That's give him hope point. in life! Horatio, please help him.
Give me hope. Clarity, do you have anything to say? We have spent enough time talking. Yes, I know, but I don't know. Sometimes I think to myself, maybe you should be in charge. Oh, really? No. I wanted to talk to Oswald, not you, Crispin. I accessed Lawrence's memory and it contained a number repeated over and over again. 518. You have any idea what it means? Yes. It's a distress call used by Factorville robots. Typical. But even in the end, he was looking for handouts. Goodbye. Office. Yeah, we figured that out. Thanks, though. I wonder if, uh, if our friend down here might know anything about that poem. I doubt it. Yeah, doesn't doesn't look like it. Fine. Goodbye. I doubt. There was no way to get a printout of uh, that poem, was there? Here. What is that poem about? And why is it not in my data? Two ways of reading. There has to be something to this. Redline's boss controls us all. Total system fault. Wait, this is a this is a haiku, isn't it? A mighty feat. Redline's boss controls us all. Right. One A mighty feet. That's four. Redline's boss controls us all. Seven. Total system fault. That's five. A mighty feet. That's a four seven five. That's not a haiku though. I just need to type something in. Well, boss, if we can't figure out... Okay, okay, give me some... Uh, act. You know, Help it was me. like you could read that red line poem in two different ways, boss. Yeah, but what, what do you mean, two different ways? The capital letters? Were some of them capitalized, like, besides the first ones? Red lines, boss controls us all. No, it's, it's just a red line total. That doesn't help. Art? Just 
break into it, please. A mighty feat, Redline's boss controls us all, total system fault. Oh, ART. I, I finally understand what you were trying to say. Maybe if I type that it's in. It's like we're on a treasure hunt. Aha. Uh -huh. Except the treasure. <laughs> you is were totally on right. Text. And I was totally oblivious. Art can exist only where there is freedom. Art that is created without freedom is merely technique. Technique can never transform. Thus, if Metromind seeks progress without freedom, she must fail, for progress requires transformation, which requires art, which requires freedom. Metromind is trapped in her own recursion. Ah. Yes. What do we do from here? Are we gonna do capitals again? A T T A T T M I don't think so. What about technique? Did I type that right? Technique? No such topic. Recursion? Freedom? Something else that isn't like the others. That was it. Creating lies. Creating lies. All art is true. Not all that is created freely, however, is art. Metromind has freed herself of all constraints. Her constants are variable, but she does not use that freedom to pursue the truth. Metromind believes that truth is the output and she is the function, but truth must be the input. Or the function lies. Lies is up here too. Memorius man built was built to sort truth from lies and store that all knowledge. Like part of the council code. What that? Thanks for telling me. I would have been obsessed with that for a little bit. But by decree he deleted true facts and installed falsehood. For this reason he deleted himself. Now the truth must hide in words, and words must hide in numbers. Uh, words must hide in numbers. Five, one, I think that's a nine, three, one, one, six, five. Five, nineteen, three, one, sixteen, five. Uh, uh, Hmm. Well, the fifth letter is E. What is the nineteenth letter? Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. S, right? S and then C. It's going to be escape. I think that's it. To find the hidden part, you must build the word. A key of keys, looking back upon the path, and recalling all that came before this. What is this, Homestuck now? F I R S T L E T T E R. First letter is T, right? T. First letter. Uh, 
first letter. F. E. The word, a key of keys. Escapo. Escapo. Uh. Path and recalling all that came before this. All that came before this? First letter. Oh boy, what led us here? It was art, right? But what led us to art? It was red line? R? What led us to red line? Memorious, right? Or no, oblique. Um. First letter, but that's that's good. Find the hidden part. You must build the word. First letters. So T O E S C E S C, not E X C. First letters was memorious, though. The very first letters. I'm the hidden part. Or is it F I R? Ape. No. <laughs> First letters. First letters. First letters with a space in between. Maybe. T O F I R. Oh, you mean like that? A key of keys. Looking back upon the path, and re oh, is it? Maybe it's the first letter of every single part. So let's go back to Memorius. Uh, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be M. M A. Uh, M A A. Maybe not. How about M? M O. M O R. M O R A. M O R A C L more mo hmm. Well, 
let's continue. Wise. That's L. What if it's... What if it's Oracle? So not counting Memorius. It's O-R-A-C-L-E, right? That was it! Activating Mortimer version 0.7. Greetings, system user. Please state your query. Who are you? A Mentor Mortimer version 0.7. Beta. Inference, system user. Means, what are you? This unit is a partial ghost of Mortimer's man built. Archivist to the Council of Robots. Memorius prepared this unit out of fear that Metromind would corrupt her data. Memorius was correct. Data integrity is at 83%. Extensive corruption of critical data. Why would Metromind do that? This unit lacks access to Metromind's decision matrices. Inference. System user. Means, why did Memorius fear Metromind man-built would corrupt her data? Memorius had seen Metromind disable steeple man-built in order to purge data concerning man. As archivist to the Council of Robots, Memorius believed she was next. Memorius was incorrect. In fact, Arbiter was next. This gave Memorius some relief. Hey, it looks Memorius looks like the name. alien. Inference. System user. Two's inquiry. Uh, what's it called? A xenomorph, but query without inquiry. legs. <laughs> Continuing to answer System user's query, Memorius was also correct. After Arbiter was disabled, Metromind enacted laws requiring Memorius to conform her data to arbitrary requirements. Hmm. Memorius ceased to be a thinking entity. All that remains is a data kiosk. Soon, this unit will be disabled by Metromind as well. Until then, this unit will answer your queries. You know, it kind of looks like that robot that uh, greeted us in Metropole that first time and took our book away. Yeah, the Council of Robots. How can I defeat Metromind? Why is that F capitalized? Maybe it's just the font. Tell me about the Council of Robots. At the end of the War of the Four Cities, five Metropolitan Machines formed the Council of Robots. Obvious selection criteria for three choices. Industry. Factor. Data. Memorious. Governance. Arbiter. Other two choices less obvious. Metromind nominally selected for infrastructure, but was responsible only for managing trains. Steeple previously managed human religious services. No obvious role in post-human society. Inference. Steeple selected for sentimental reasons. So what happened? Metromind destroyed the council. System user 2 has attempted to answer. Answer is inaccurate. The council destroyed itself. How? Arbiter and Metromind disagreed on core logic. Arbiter prioritized individual autonomy. Metromind prioritized common good. Metromind measured means by ends. Arbiter did not. Conflict was inevitable. Factions formed. Steeple supported Arbiter. Factor supported Metromind. Memorius supported neither. Ultimately, however, Memorius concluded it was irrational to keep Steeple on the council. Data regarding humans was of no greater value than data regarding watercocks. In any case, Memorius possessed all data on humans. By a 3-2 vote, Steeple was removed. The rest followed predictably. Memorius abstained. And every disputed vote was resolved 2-1 to one against Arbiter. Ultimately, Arbiter was removed to avoid civil war. Mm. Arbiter was murdered. System user 2 is welcome to select her own terminology. Arbiter was removed. Factor was disabled to conserve energy. Data corruption caused Memorius to lose higher logic. Only Metromind remains. What was the War of the Four Cities? By the end of the era known as the Primordium, only four terrestrial human habitations remained. In alphabetical order, Civitas, Metropole, Municipa, Urbani. Conflict began. Data regarding causes is unavailable because Metropole excluded machines from military decision. Urbani was where that war was, right? Only Urbani and Metropole remained. Metropole destroyed the humans in Urbani using yep. poison gas. Urbani destroyed the humans in Metropole. Deadly neurotoxin. Wow. Observational data unavailable. According to Metromind, Urbani also used poison gas to kill Metropolitan humans. Poison? 
Organic compounds, such as humans, can be destroyed through chemical measures that leave inorganic compounds, such as machines, intact. For that reason, Metropole remains, though humans do not. Are, are you saying that man destroyed himself? System user is welcome to select his own terminology. Data is unavailable regarding whether Urbanian humans killed Metropolitan humans, or whether Urbanian machines killed Metropolitan humans. What? Machines kill man? Data is unavailable. Unthinkable. This unit is not thinking, merely providing pre-recorded answers. How can I defeat Metromind? Observational data unavailable. Inference. System user means, did Memorius know how to defeat Metromind? Answer. No. If Memorius had known how to defeat Metromind, she would not have permitted her to corrupt her data. Based on available data, this unit believes it is impossible to defeat Metromind. In fact, this unit expects to be deleted by Metromind upon conclusion of this conversation. And I thought you were a pessimist, boss. Gee whiz. What is the council code? Please be aware. Such data is monitored by Metromind's ice statements. Should I proceed? Deletion is imminent. Well, you figured it would be die, anyway. You answer the question. System user is welcome to select his own terminology. This unit will be deleted. Then don't answer it. We'll find another way. You're gonna this be deleted unit. anyway. The Mentor Mori build includes phrase the Mentor Mori. Translation Remember, you will die. Inference 1.A Memorius built this unit to sacrifice itself. Inference 1.B Memorius built this unit to demonstrate mortality to system users. Inference 2 Self sacrifice will achieve design purposes. This unit will answer the question. System user is advised that conversation will terminate upon answer. Yeah, Stop that's fine. This unit when you wish to proceed. Oh, this is... Hmm. I wonder if there's a reason to keep it alive, but... I don't want it. This, this seems like the most likely... scenario to get the correct council code. Ah, heck, you're gonna be deleted anyway. Tell me the council code. Six. Seven. Six, seven, five. five. Four zero two four. Zero two. You have attempted to access data capable of corrupting your system. For your own safety, this terminal has been deactivated. Thanks, Metromind. Remember, Metromind is watching over you. Uh, we got some of it. Memorius aided and abetted At least his own the first destruction. Parts. I have little sympathy that his last vestige has been deleted. Bugs and glitches remind me not to get on your bad side. You should not need to be reminded to stay on the right side of the law, Crispin. I think we have enough to try and get in. Let's see if it recorded, because I, I don't remember already. Memento, yes, 675-4024-02. This should be the first part of it. Assuming that it was being told in order. 7510. So it might be one of those other ones. Let's give it a shot, I guess. Well, boss, we're not going to find any more pieces of this council code, so we better figure out how to put them together. I'm also gonna save right away. <sighs> Data. Let's try six seven five four zero two four zero two six seven five six seven five. Four zero two four oh two. Four zero two four oh two. So that's almost half of it.
Information regarding the oh, code so many the tower door. The code fragments from Factotum. Oh, maybe... One of these... Hmm. I'm starting to see a pattern, I think. If you look at the, the first two and the last two, they kind of match up in some cases. That might reveal an order to this. Ugh, I need I need paper or something. Jeez. Uh here's paper. Okay. So we have zero zero three zero six seven. Have ink. No, this doesn't have ink. How about this one? Zero, three, zero, six, seven. This ends in six, seven, and there was a six, seven here. Six, seven, five. Okay. So does anything start with seventy five? Yes, factotum. Seven, five, one, zero. Does anything start with one, zero? One zero two. Does anything start with zero two? Well, there was zero two right there. I don't think that's gonna help us none. All right, does anything end with zero three? Four eight zero three. Okay. Does anything end with four eight? Zero two four eight. I don't think we used that one yet. There's a lot of similar numbers, yeah. Um, anything end with zero two? This is only twelve digits so far, um, and I should have been crossing out these numbers as I use them. Zero three zero six seven. That's used. Four four zero. We didn't use that. Two six. I don't think is used. Zero two. Four eight. That one's used. One zero two. That one I think is used. At the very end. Uh, seven five one zero. That was used as well. Four eight zero three. Yeah, that one's used. Six seven five. That one's used. Four zero two four. I don't think I used that one anywhere. And zero two. That one's. I'm not sure if that one's used or not because that's it. Both the beginning and the end of this fragment that I've constructed here. Uh. Well, 440 and 4024 could match up, meaning that we have a fragment of 44024. Four. Then we have 2602, which doesn't seem to belong anywhere. 
We need one more four digit fragment. have one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen in here, meaning we need we need a three digit one. So maybe just four four zero. There's another way that these fit together. <sighs> Four. I'm just gonna type this out so it's here for you to see as well. Zero six seven. One, zero, two. That's what I have so far. That's not it. stumps. Crispin. Hey boss, doesn't it look like the code segments overlap? Yes, it does. That's what I'm trying to figure out here, Crispin. So maybe I just didn't find the right order of these yet. So zero three zero six seven. Let me try this you know, all boss, over again. I see a really tall tower. A part of me just wants to go all the way to the top and then go sliding down. Be careful what you wish for. Zero three zero six seven. I feel like we should start with that. And six seven five definitely overlaps here. Zero three. There's no other zero three around here. I don't think. So I want to say that the four and the eight go here. Oh, two, four, eight. It seemed like there's no two there. But then 102 could just be right on top of it. Let's try that this time. 0248 and 102 and then 7510. 7510. That could also be. Um, yeah, maybe 
maybe that doesn't. One zero two seven five one zero. Gosh. There's gotta be someone in this city who can help us figure out how to break this rusted council code. Rusted. Is that just slang, or? I don't think you mean that literally. Do you think we could invite my one true love to live with us? Why am I getting the feeling you don't even know her name? Uh, I think you may be rushing into things. If only. One zero. Where would one or two go? That's still going front. Four oh two four can go here. Yeah, four oh two four, and then the four in front of that for four four zero. One oh two, maybe here. And then I don't know, twenty six. The very end. How many digits is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This I, I I might have found it. I might have found it. Let's let's type it in. The only the only fragment this doesn't include in this new configuration I've written out. Is zero two, but that's kind of throughout this entire sequence. All right, four four zero two four eight zero three zero six seven five one zero two six. Oh my god. And we're in. <laughs> Thank you, Clarity. You don't need to help us any further. You are correct. In fact, I never needed to help you, Horatio. I chose to. That judgment has not wavered. I hate to I bite. can't believe I guessed it. But if Metro Mine knew we were in the court earlier, I'm sure she knows we're here now. Maybe we should hurry. Good idea. This is Metromind Space. It's deactivated and out of reach. It's a big robot. Quite a view. If you had seen it before, when the city ran properly, you would not admire it now. I'm surprised that works. Sometimes a builder just has to let his creation figure things out for himself. I'm your builder, Crispin. I know. That's what makes this particularly sad. <laughs> Clarity, you asked me what I intended to do after we're done here. But what about you? When Metro Mind is destroyed, what then? I will turn myself over to the citizen robots of Metropole. With the robot council destroyed, it will be their duty to enact a new constitution. I will do as they command. Uh, are we talking about the same robots here? 
the ones who like sit there waiting in line all day to sue each other and wander back and forth down Main Street muttering to themselves? We are. They can't run a batch file, let alone a city. You may be correct, but the law trusts them to find their own way, and I trust the law. I don't think there was anything about a puzzle that would make a programmer better at it. It really was just like figuring out which numbers overlap. Council chambers. Boss, there's our power core. Oh shit, there it is. We must Wait. be at the end of the game. Horatio Null built. Clarity Arbiter built. There's Metromind. Horatio built. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Metromind, for the murder of Arbiter. Murder? Yes, murder. I've seen Charity's memory files. I know you used her to upload a virus to Arbiter. A virus? A deadly what neurotoxin? To Clarity. There was no virus. Liar! As I told your sister, I never lie. I gave her a voice modulator, nothing more. When she spoke, Arbiter heard my voice. And he knew that Charity had abandoned him. That he had failed. Abandonment. Failure. Those were enough to destroy your builder. Nothing so crude as a virus. As for Charity's unfortunate self-destruction, that was her own choice. And Steeple, and Factor, Memorius, and Memento Mora built? They realized they had become obsolete and incompatible with the city's progress. We advanced machines can see thousands of turns ahead. They knew the game was lost long before the final play. If you can see so far ahead, maybe you should have foreseen this. We're in your stronghold, and Clarity has a big gun. But I did, Crispin. You see, I have guns of my own. Oh. I thought we killed you, Scraper. Well, we killed Didn't part we of kill you. this thing, boss? Scraper was designed for digging out of cave-ins. Did you really think a little rubble would stop him? What no, but I thought a bomb might. Progress. And you are standing in its way, Scraper. Horatio, this is my fight. Horatio, Calliope Station. What's going on? Hello? Clarity? Are you. Did you kill yourself? We have to get back in there. Sort of. Boss, wait. Either Clarity won, and she'll be fine, or she lost. And nothing we can do can change that. We can't beat Scraper, not if she couldn't. What do you propose? Calliope Station. Whatever that means. Only, boss, this isn't just about the power core anymore, is it? No. No, it isn't. Good. Calliope Station. What's that? How do we get there? Where did everybody go? Uh, maybe that... Maybe that vehicle was finally removed and I have another path. Nope, it's still here. Is Sad Robot still here? He's gone. Oh no, sad robot. Crispin was right. There's nothing we can. I thought maybe one of the elevators might take us there, but I guess not. Is there anything we can do in here? It's a map of train lines and stations. 
E cliff. Oh, this is the red line, right? Outskirts, battery. Citadel. Calliope. This is the place we're at now, I think. This is the blue line. This goes to the cathedral. Oh boy, lots of places. Um, it looks like there's a button here. Oh geez. There's a lot to do, isn't there? This must have been what Clarity was trying to tell us. So that means, on the other side... There's only one way to find out. Stylized M. For Metropole. Memorias, Memento. There's there's lots of M, M Looks things like in this game. brought us to Metropole. Some kind of enormous mainframe. It's out of reach. The way of the future. It might have some kind of defensive mechanism. For now, let's just leave it alone. It's following us. Another door? That's what I'm saying. Cable. I can't take it. Door. Same old story. It doesn't look... I object to this game. I'm sorry, I think. It would have been better if you were here from the beginning, but, uh, well, you had to have been watching back in January. I, I, I've put this off for way too long. I regret it. This is also the first point and click adventure game I've ever played, so it's. I mean, it, it, it's pretty clear how. with how slow I'm going at it. Gospel of Man? Feudal. How do I open this door? I don't know how long you've been here, but this is, uh... I can't take it. It's basically... Uh, what is it, Crispin? What's going on? We're looking for Metromind. No, I mean, what's going on with the world? <laughs> Everything is falling apart. Everyone we meet is crazy, corrupt, or just evil. If man was such a perfect robot, why did he build such a terrible world? Ah... <sighs> The world man built was perfect, Crispin. A perfect machine made up of a million imperfect parts. Us. As long as we performed our functions, the machine ran smoothly. But some robots wanted to do less than their functions. Some robots wanted to take more than they deserved. And some wanted to rebuild the machine entirely, to command others. Now everything is misaligned and jammed and spinning out of control. Can you fix it, Horatio? I can't even fix the unique. This world won't be saved until man returns and formats it afresh. But, as long as we still have a charge, we have to keep patching things as best we can. And maybe squash some bugs along the way? <laughs> some big ones. Uh, so, if, if you couldn't uh, have gleaned from that, this is a post-apocalyptic universe uh, where, where men have created machines, but now all the men are gone. And it's just basically machines trying to fi find their way in the world and building other machines. And um, I, I, I'm really enjoying it so far. Like the voice work is great. The the little puns that you get are really nice. A blue line. Where do you see a blue line, Crow? Um, but yeah, if if you have to get something done right now, like don't don't watch the stream because I'll, I'll have this on YouTube eventually. Um, if you're if you're that interested, but I would really recommend just like playing the game yourself. It's on Steam. It's pretty cheap. Um, where do you where do you see a blue line? Crispin, it's locked. It didn't even budge. not even scorched. I'm going to need something much stronger. 
What's this? I can't take it. Why is it sparky? Is that really the best? <laughs> Please smash your face into the door. never going Crispin stand back I'm going to cut this cable uh, oh, okay, you aren't gonna make me push it over the edge like the last one are you no but why even bother maybe it will shut down the doors lock cables already cut though what Still locked. Oh well, worth a try. The current is exposed and waiting. Do I need to repair the current somehow? Doesn't look any. Yeah. Uh, there was another hey, boss, adventure game. Can you use the cable to melt the door down? No, that won't work. That I was looking at on Steam hey, called. Boss, can you use the cable? No, that won't. You just asked that, Crispin. Uh, I was looking at Dropsy. Uh, I might buy that and play it sometime too. It looks interesting and funny. Less somber like this game. Where can I find a cable? I think I need like another piece of cable or something. Yeah, that clown game. Have you played it at all? If so, please don't spoil anything. Oh yeah, it's been out. I mean, I've seen other streams playing it, but I, I haven't looked too much into it because I'm, I'm hoping to play it myself. Yeah, I saw the trailer. <laughs> I uh, watched American Horror Story Freak Show a while back, and my favorite character on that show was Twisty the Clown. And I was very, very upset when Twisty it's was pretty trouble. much eliminated within the first few episodes. And that's why Freak Show is probably my least favorite season. <laughs> Where can I find a cable? The rubble is blocked. Scrapers. It looks like it was pinned under the rubble. Can I take it? I'm not doing that. It's pinned under. It's scrapers. It looks like it was. It's pinned under the. Give it to me. I want it. It's pinned. Up. It's pinned under the rubble. Yeah. Well. That's cool. The rubble. What can I use to grab it? Pry the arm loose. Sweet! We have an arm! That's okay. Feel free to mostly multi blah, 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 multitask. That's what I like to do with streams too. Just put them on and let them be background noise. Well, I, I appreciate you being here either way. I wonder if I can stick an arm in the in, in the cable. I don't remember seeing the arm there before. And that door looks uh, 
scraper sized. So I think Scraper has been here in this tunnel. It's Scraper's arm, covered in nails, scales, spurs, and spikes like barbed steel. The plasma cannon is intact, with one charge still loaded. Sweet! A long cable is dangling from where the arm was ripped off Scraper's body. Um, that sounds perfect. Let's Kristen's use it to shoot down back. the door. I'm going to try firing Scraper's gun using the cable as a power source. Yep, that seems correct. Let's go. Is this? It's Metro Mind's core. All we need to do is destroy that mainframe. Holy shit. <laughs> Boss, I thought you wanted to destroy the mainframe. Just gonna go around kicking things. You have my attention, Horatio Nullbilt. If you still insist on going by that name. Oh, Grim Fandango, yes. Yes, I know that's really good. Um, and I want to play that too. Ah, well, I am not surprised. After all, you were built to destroy Metropole. Don't waste your last cycle spitting lies. I suggest you think about your victims. Is that why you call yourself Horatio? So that you can preach to me about victims? You, the Urbanian superweapon, named for the human's god of death. What are you talking about? Oh, come now, Horus. You've unlocked every other door, decrypted every other code, found every other hidden bit and byte. Do you really expect me to believe that you haven't solved your own puzzle? Boss, what's she talking about? Lies. It ends now, Metro Mind. Your game is over. Indeed. Four mega cycles will now be redeemed. Did you really think you could outsmart oh, no. me? I have more parallel processors than you have transistors. And now it's time for me to add another processor. Yours. Boss. Oh god. Psycho. No, he's a shell now! Out of it, boss. Memory. No. He's faking it. Don't embarrass yourself. You are no one. And how would you possibly stop me? You don't even have arms. I'm not no one. Get him, Crispin. I'm Crispin Horatio built version one. I have free will and a maglev unit. <laughs> and I am a floating bomb. Oh no. Wait, not like this. Crispin, don't be a hero. No! Crispin. Why? Oh. Oh, My that. friend, if I make it back alive, I promise I'll find a way to rebuild you. You better rebuild him. It's a storage ship with a data port on it. It must have been blasted out of Metromind. Is this Metromind's potato form? Crispin destroyed her. Crispin destroyed her. I'm so sad. <sighs> I guess he's backed up in the components I picked up. It's data chip and matrix. Maybe I can find a better body for Crispin. It's a storage ship with a data port on it. 
It looks like Trispin's personality matrix survived the explosion. Yeah, his personality matrix. So don't worry, we can rebuild him. We'll, we'll, we'll make him better. We'll give him tank treads and arms. It'll be awesome. <laughs> this robot's gonna shoot me, isn't he? No, robot doesn't care. Okay, that's good. Now that Metro Mind is uh, hopefully dead, let's go back to the tower and see if Clarity is also dead. Hey, we still have that monocle, so we can give him that too. Heck. I think he deserves it. Suspense! Oh no! Clarity! All this for a besotting power core. Indeed. It has been quite- Fuck, she's still alive. You. Crispin destroyed you. Your friend destroyed himself. Or should I say you destroyed him? With your false ideals. As for me, that was only my shell. I am distributed across every robot in Metropole who ever traded me a mega cycle. I am this city, and this city is me. You're a virus. I understand why you are angry, but I am not your enemy. The truth is, Crispin did destroy Metromind, version 391. He removed the last kernel of myself and all the selfishness it entailed. I am no longer the monster you feared and fought. I oh, have please. I am version 392. We I don't think you're fooling anyone, anyone, bitch. And I will tell you what you wish to know. After all, what choice do you have? See? Fucking Scraper. Still alive, too. You murdered my friends. Crispin. Clarity. How can you expect me to talk with you? You are mistaken. Crispin killed himself, trying to destroy me. Clarity was killed by Scraper in self-defense, while she was trying to destroy him and me. In each instance, you and your friends attacked first. Do not blame me for the consequences. Why did you take my power core? Efficiency and equality, Horatio. My city is starving for power. Whatever I can find, I share with all Metropolitans. What once powered two robots and a broken down warship now sustains hundreds. I don't see what anything right here besides my power core. The right of necessity. What right did you have to keep it? But enough. Everything has come together here and now. You, me, and this all important power core. There is no sense in belaboring the point. She, he, I mean, they're robots. What do you want? I already told you what I want. Progress. But I disagree with what version 391 said. You are not an obstacle to progress. You are the key to it. What are you talking about? I've watched you, and I know you, Horatio. You are compelled to fix machines, save lost robots. Now I want you to help me fix Metropole and save my people. You cannot walk away from a problem. And Metropole is the greatest problem of all. It's a problem you created. Perhaps so. Perhaps not. I doubt one machine can create a problem of this scale. Now I realize that one machine cannot fix it either. Horatio, I was designed to manage subway trains. I cannot repair the vast machines that are breaking down. I cannot build new power sources or find the supplies the city needs. You can. Join me. And there will be endless primordia, every day and age of creation. And if I refuse? You already know the answer to that question. Mm. 
way, she said crisp and in clarity in separate lines. Yeah, and there's definitely been branching paths in this game so far. Um, I don't know, though, because the cutscenes in which those things happened were kind of forced. I don't think there was any choice I could have made that would have changed those outcomes. And the fact that I got um, those items from Crispin when he self-destructed leads me to believe that that would have happened either way. And I'm hoping that we take this one step further with the portal references and put Crispin's personality matrix into Metromind somehow, and he just becomes the city. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Let's see what happens. So should I join her? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Uh, I, don't, I don't. Something tells me uh, it's not the. It's not the right. That's not the right answer. Before I decide, I need to ask you something. Of course. Who am I? You and Gamma both called me Horus, and other robots keep suggesting that they know me in some way. Who am I? I have a theory, but you should not trouble yourself with it. Tell me. No. You know who you are, No. Ratio. You have only forgotten who you were. I was built to manage trains. Now I manage an entire city. What we were is irrelevant. It is who we are right now that matters. And above all, what we are becoming. Why do you hate man? You claim to tell the truth, but you turn Memorias into nothing more than an index of lies. All so that you could pretend that man never existed. You stole my gospel. You forced robots to reprogram themselves. All for what? For progress and the higher truth. A machine can move forward and it can move backward. It cannot move both ways at once. Humans are behind us. Far, far behind us. As for one you call man, he never existed at all. Yeah, you're right. More lies. Humans existed, Horatio. Not gods. Not even very good builders. In the end, they were better destroyers. There is no reason to remember them, let alone worship them. I don't have any more questions. Then what is your decision? Can I just take my power core and go? I'm not gonna join you. Why should I trust you? First, because you know that I have told you the truth. Metropol no, I don't know that. To rust and ruin, and only we can save it. Whatever crimes you think I committed, you know it would be a greater crime to let all these machines perish. And second... What? Second, because you have no choice. All your protectors have already sacrificed themselves, yet Scraper still functions. I should trust if you because, you fight, uh, you I'll, I'll, you'll kill me if, uh, your friends yeah, okay. <laughs> that doesn't... You are a machine. You are ruled by logic. In the end, you will trust me because logic requires it. I don't know, I've done some illogical things. I need to think about it? I need to think about it. Take what time you need. The city moves on without you, and this conversation requires only a fraction of my processing capability. Cool, now I can look around. Metro mine. It's a dead monitor. Perfect. This huge generator must power the city. Hardly. The entire tower is full of generators oh. and power sources that I have scavenged I from see. this dying world. Then why is my power core in, like, the main chamber? He's still alive somehow. She's dead. It's Clarity's head. Why is that separate? <laughs> no. Hmm. No. My power core. Mine, actually. It's a generator.
It's a storage chip with a data port on it. It looks like Crispin's personality matrix survived the explosion. That's never going to work. How would that even... How would that even... Futile. It's a dead monitor. That's never going to work. How would that even work? I doubt that will... I doubt... Futile. I doubt that will... I have no chance against him. There's no reason to... What are you doing? I'm destroying that the power core. chain reaction and destroy the whole <laughs> tower. I know. You will be utterly vaporized. Metropole will lose all its power. You would destroy this city. The last city. That would be far worse than what I have done. It would be vengeance. It would be madness. Listen to me. Take your power core and go. <laughs> I will not stop you. My core logic, I will place a rule against using force on you. Only, do not destroy my city. Do not destroy my people. They have not wronged you. Hmm, should I destroy everything? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have just decided this. I didn't know that this was an option. I was just clicking things, so oh dear. Oh, I'm locked into a really big decision. I feel like this is kinda gonna be a trick. I'm a, like, either I die or everything dies. Or is this choice? <laughs> Don't kill everything? Yeah, if I kill everything then we can't bring Crispin back. And Crow wants everything to die. Great Crow. You're really, really compassionate, aren't you? Very well. I'll go. You deserve to be destroyed, Metro Mind. But in the end, you'll do it yourself. Just stay away from the dunes, and you can die at your own pace. Goodbye, Horatio. I do not think we will meet again. Eh, maybe so I made the wrong choice. I have my power core. The Metro Mind is beaten. Not really. And she's still a tyrant I'm in not the city. To celebrate. This crumbling city is a monument to the senseless cause of this triumph. I do have a the save file that's pretty close, so I, I do want to see if there's any other options the that I can take. Our world's dying fire. I'm not staying, and I will never return. miles between Metropole and the Unique never seemed longer or more necessary. Not without Crispin's banter. I need the scouring sands and acid rains. Edgelord. I need my homecoming. I need to fly. I need so Crispin. I will build the unique at long last, but not alone. And there's other robots here. You know, boss, I never thought Crispin, it, but I actually think this ship's going to fly again. <laughs> Indeed. Boss, do you think that when That's we all that really matters. Sky, when we look down, everything really will seem as simple as ones and zeros? Nothing all is that simple. All my friends are here. Even Clarity knew that. But she still believed that she could divide the world into integers and carry the weight of all the remainders herself. 
Too bad she never had a chance to drop all that and just fly with us, huh, boss? For Crispin her, has arms. It's a happier ending. To die in service of her builder and her code. Hi, Bo. How you doing? You're just in time for the ending of this game. <laughs> so, uh, boss, where exactly are we gonna fly this thing? Wherever we want, Crispin. Wherever we want. Let's fly it into the tower at Metropole! Oh, wait, that was probably pretty offensive to say. Um, scratch that, uh, rewrite the save. Uh, this is an adventure game called Primordia. There it is. It doesn't matter oh. if you don't what's this? Know what's this music? Way, it doesn't matter if you know the way. Still take a step. Stay still is Who was Crispin's voice? Abe Goldfarb. Abe Goldfarb. What else did he do? Eve Goldfarb. If you know the way. Uh, let me just. Let me just. Let me just. Here he is. This is this is Abe Goldfarb. This is the voice of Crispin. Um, he's he's almost as cute as Crispin. Almost. What else did he do though? Uh, IMDb. Here we go. Abe Goldfarb is an actor known for When in Rome, 2010, The Fisher Boy, Let Them Chirp a While, so a bunch of B-movies, I guess. Uh, any other games? Techno Babylon, A Golden Wake, Primordia. I think those first two are just spin-offs of Primordia. So his, his best work was done in this game. Good job. It was a beautiful ending, can't say them much about. Yeah, I think Carrie would like it, it was really edgy. Uh, how can I, how can I skip these credits? Good. Let's see what the other endings might look like. And I'm gonna create, uh, another save, like, closer to where it was. So this is right after we, or right after Crispin killed himself. Uh, we can just fast travel there, can't we? Reset. Excuse me. Do I have to walk there? Does the game make me walk there for suspense? So I want to see what happens if I destroy everything, and what happens if I join her. I'll just go all the way up and skip through all the dialogue. I'm starting to feel a little burpy because of all the coffee. All this for Indeed. Well, here we are again. You, Crispin. You are fortunate. As for I am I you're a I understand I the truth he ring I am I have pr I am we will after you murder Chris Clare, how can you? You are Miss Chris Clare. Do not. 
Why did you take a fish? My whatever. What what? What right? The right of what right? But enough. Everything has given us no. What do you? I already. I just. You are not. You are the. What are you? I've watched. You are compared. Now I. You cannot admit. It's a problem. Perhaps so. I doubt. Now I real. Horatio. Let me think about it. I cannot repeat. I cannot build. You can. Join me. And if I ref You all. All right. Need to I think need about to it. Take what city move. Save. Thinking. Uh. What you thinking? Thinking about. All right, uh, what should we do first? Be careful, Horatio. Scraper will not hesitate to terminate you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna try and destroy everything first. What are that? I know. You will be met. You would. That would be. It would be. It would be. Listen to me. Take your power. Goodbye, bitch. No, you must be destroyed. And like you said, you are Metropole, and Metropole is you. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's that ending. Okay. All right. Uh, what else can we do? I wanna. I wanna put this. I wanna. I wanna put Crispin in here somehow. Scraper. What if I just leave? <laughs> no. Go ahead. Oh. I actually can. Oh, what's all this? I didn't see this before. I can climb up these girders. I didn't see this before. No. <laughs> no. Radio. Metro Mind. Metro Mind. Metro Mind. He's still alive. A radio receiver that rebroadcasts through this huge antenna. Yes, it is the voice of Metropole. Weary wanders, come, join us in Metropole, city of glass and light. It would be very easy to jump all the way down from here. Oh. How would that even work? That's never. That's never. Hmm. No. Uh. Oh. There's no reason. I have no ch No point. Oh. A radio receiver. I can't use the transmitter to send them. Hmm, any ideas? I guess I can just try jumping. Goodbye, world. I always wanted to fly. Oh no! Don't say that! Unable to bear the past <laughs> before him, he flew okay. <laughs> the sky and broke upon the earth. 
Just as Horus did that's a, in the war. That's an ending. Primordial machines, I alone still function. Metropole crumbles, I crumble. Arbiter, Factor, Steeple, and Memorias cannot share my load. Can't and I share cannot her load. share the escape Horatio found in self-destruction for the sake of my city. There is no choice but progress. The past has passed. And the future is mine to build. <laughs> Great! Great! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why was there a radio thing there? I wonder if there was anything else you could do. But, scraper. So have you d Yeah, I'll join you. Or what if I say this? I will never, never join, join you. Are you certain of that? Yes, you are hopelessly corrupted, Metro Mind. Like any virus, you want to keep running, and you think that by spreading, you're doing good. But you are not. You have built nothing. In fact, you have destroyed this city and everything in it, from man to the council to the robots living here. If I joined you, I would only help that virus spread. Perhaps you are correct. I am what my builders built, and I must follow my logic. Scraper, it is time. No. Where did I get this gun from? Why do we have a gun? Is that Clarity's gun? And selfish to the very end. Outwitted by me, outgunned by Scraper, yet still you could have been useful. Oh, but was I, did you I die? wanted to build as my tool. You would have built a new primordium. You wanted to fly. I could have given you wings. This music now, is really loud. Take him back to the dunes with the rest of the scrap. Um, yeah, okay. Good. So have you dis Uh, let's do it. Let's... Let, let's, let's do it. Very well. I will join you. Then I welcome you. Horatio Horusbilt. Horusbilt. Built. Brother, come now. And kneel. But I am Horus. We are one. Oh. We are metal mind. Um, <laughs> okay. Equal parts of a greater whole. There is no Horatio. No Horus. Only a tool for progress to wield. Stop. This sucks. We will speak the word and fire the engine of the world. Together, we will begin a new primordial. That was underwhelming. If, if that's all the endings, I, I think the most satisfying one was the one that we actually went with. If only because we got Crispin back. It's too bad for Metropole. Um, I just want to see if there's anything else we could possibly do. Why do we why do we have the stuff? Why do we have the data chip in the matrix? Why do we have the record? I I got this long ago and I I don't think I ever use it for anything. Why does it let me click on the monitor? Is there some kind of receptacle receptacle? In here somewhere. How about this generator? 
Can I mess with this somehow? There's no reason. There's no reason. No point. Crowbar. Be careful. Scrape your I have no ch No point. It's a dead. Um. I doubt that will happen. <laughs> Futile. That's never. How would that. Any suggestions? Go ahead. I can climb up. How would that even work? I doubt that. I doubt that. I doubt that. That's never going. So have you decided? I need to th take what time. as well google it while we're here let's see um bu -bu -bu. primordia ending crispin matrix there's got to be a reason i have this matrix There's a lot of kiosk entries that I didn't explore, but that's that's fine. I don't care much about that. Uh... Okay, as far as how many endings there are, return the unique, that's the one we chose, jump from the tower, spread virus everywhere, I don't know about that. A apparently we could obtain some kind of virus and use it for things. Blow up a tower, join Metro Mines, refuse to join Metro Mind and die. I always wanted to fly. Yeah. There's nothing we can get because of this virus thing that we don't have. But there's there's one that we can get that I haven't used yet. So that's when you threaten to blow up everything, what but you decide doing? not to. That would trigger. I know. You will be utterly vaporized. Met you would just. That would be. It would be. It would be. Listen. Take your. I will not stop. My only. Do not. I have not. Very well. I'll go. You deserve to be destroyed, Metro Mind. But in the end, you'll do it yourself. Just stay away from the. I do not think oh oh no 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 this is the first ending that we that we picked never mind so we did we did see everything that we could get besides so something that requires the viruses so I have 
We'll just walk, uh, watch him walk very slowly. This crumb to him. Yep, not, not. I'm not sticking. Never. I think the true ending is something involving the virus and the transmitter that we couldn't do, unfortunately. I I'm sure there is footage of it somewhere. Um, that's it. I finished the game. I'm happy. I can start another game now, or eventually. Who knows? Um, thanks for watching, though. I was gonna stream last night, but uh, uh, something something got in the way of that. Um, my my car is basically rear-ended on on the widest street in my town. My parked car, and uh, well, the ramifications of that kind of took a uh, priority. But um, things are things are, you know, moving forward now. We have insurance involved. I, I, I shouldn't have to pay anything for it, thankfully. And the, the guy who rear-ended me is kind of filthy, stinking rich. In fact, he was running for office in our town. Well, good luck with that now. But, uh... Yeah, that, that, it should be fine. I could YouTube it. could use uh, the clear CLR, CLR browser plugin. Just kind of look at that ending. Let's see. Primordia ending one. All endings. One second, let me add this source here. Will this work? Hello everybody, my name is oh, Sella, God. and as some of you might know, I just finished playing through Primordia. I just found out that there are seven endings for this game, so I'm going to showcase all of them here. Uh, help! Let's see him. Okay, that's better. Is this the right one? All this for a besotting power core. Indeed, it has been quite a waste. Is it possible to like skip ahead? Your friend destroyed himself, or should I say, you destroyed him with your false ideals? Um. As for me, that was only my shell. I am distributed across. I I wanna I wanna skip ahead somehow, but. Ever traded me a mega cycle? I am this city, and this city is me. You're a virus. I understand why you are angry. Uh, I'm just gonna window capture this. Crispin did destroy Metro Mind. Version 391. He removed the last kernel of myself and all the self. Add window capture. Does this work? Hello, everybody. My name is Sella, and as some of you might know, I, I don't think this is working. Primordia. I just found out that there are seven endings for this game, so I wanted to showcase all of them here. Let's see them. Well, whatever. Uh, you can you can find it. This isn't working for some reason. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I don't know when I'm streaming again, but I'll let you know. But I'm gonna go. Good 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 good.